if you go in depth in geometry, you'll be surprised how many different theorems you have. And many of them you have never had in your life. But without the theorem, you never solve problem. For instance, I'll give you names. Geometry is a huge topic. Ever had mini lie theorem, mini lie, or chiva, etc. Pure geometry. So many of these Ptolemy approach, etc. Many of these approaches based on a deep foundation of this. You're talking about Euclidean geometry. In addition, there are not only Euclidean, there are different geometry like Riemann geometry or Lobachevsky geometry, absolutely different approaches. For instance, in Riemann geometry, total of inner angles of any triangle greater than 180 degrees. And Lobachevsky less than 180 degrees. This geometry of bending spaces. Because space is not plain in reality. But we not study this stuff, right? You study in nice university if you go in math part. But if you go even if Euclidean geometry, which was developed 3,000 years ago, basic of this, right? You'll be surprised how many stuff we study here, and some of them pretty tricky, really not easy stuff, and some theorem did not prove up to nowadays. And uh, I just give a suggestion in future how to better to understand this picture. And uh, I give you a diagram you will not find in any books. This is from my book, which helps you understand better relationship between different parts. So I spend a few minutes for this one after go through this class. So uh, all um, I start from basic. Anybody interested in programming students? Who study programming for yourself? AP programming. Okay, not many students, right? And if you talk, uh, if you study modern uh, languages, object-oriented programming, compared to previous generation of language, like function-oriented, like C, for instance, C++, Java, C Sharp, all these Visual Studio .NET based on object-oriented approach. In object-oriented approach, we use classes and objects and one of main feature of this is inheritance let me explain a simple way starting from biology a little bit and after the, after that you have a map and understanding general picture in geometry okay i use this space probably to the left okay make some room here and uh, the topic would be is a relationship. Make notes of this. So we also have has a relationship or composition, and not I just you is a relationship. Sometimes they use dash here. For instance, I give example from biology from here. Let's say we have a class mammal. I believe double M. Mammals. In this class, let's say take representative of this class which is a cat and let me take few uh 
cats, for instance, tiger. And arrow goes from down to top. Puma, for instance. Leopard. It's a, you can make more examples of this. This fragment of class of mammal. In this classification is a relation. Mammal is a parent. And this is a child. Sometimes you name it parent-child relationship. Tiger, puma, and leopard, they are child of last cat or grandchild of a mammal. Why this uh, idea of object-oriented programming is so important? First of all, it show relationship. You better understand the system. Second, you can reuse code instead of writing every time code for, let's say, for leopard. I use code from class mammal and class head. And this leopard inherited all this feature. Uh, more specifically, pretend you use a dictionary. What is a mammal? A mammal uh, is a warm blooded vertebrate animal of a class that is distinguished by possession of hair or fur, the secretion of milk by females for nourished um, young. And not always typically, the birth of life to young. If you provide all the definition for mammals, when you have a cat, and cat all has all this feature inherited from mammal, you do not suppose to write this again. You can say cat is a mammal. And all this property mammal represented in superclass. The name is superclass, this is subclass. Okay. This is a great idea because huge definition of mammal. I use is a mammal, cat is a mammal. You easily get. Oh, another example. Tiger. If you have tiger, is a cat. And since cat is a mammal, all these features, all this property of class mammal inherited by class tiger. And uh, in SAT, you have many cases when they ask you who is who. If the question is, is leopard a mammal? Yes, it go to this, according to these arrows, right? Is cat a mammal? Yes. Is mammal a cat, students? No. Child is a parent. What is it? It means child always inherited all feature from parent, not other way around. Because child is a product of parents. Why a uh, cat is not a mammal? Because we have, let's say, uh, another class of whale. Well, and well inherited all feature of mammal. Is well a cat? No, this separate branch of evolution. So very often we name it parent child or is a or inheritance or ancestor descendant relationship. And when you write code, it's very easy. You create a superclass after that. You inherit all this stuff from superclass. Any question about these students? How it's related to geometry? Parvina, two more points, please. One and point one. If you send before class or not, otherwise system does not understand. It's supposed to be for numbers. 
Okay. Now, uh, in object-oriented programming, pretend I have huge, huge whiteboard, but size is limited. Let's say I created a class shape. This is shape. This is parent class. And I created so few subclasses of this. And see how beautiful is it to understand this. For instance, I can have class or quadrilateral. Which is a shape. Or in quadrilateral, we can have a few classes. Parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral. Okay. Next, if you have parallelogram, parallelogram can be rectangle. Is rectangle a parallelogram? Yes, a rectangle is parallelogram where all angles 90 degrees. So all theorems of this guy goes automatically to subclass rectangles, plus some your own features. You can have a parallelogram where all sides are the same. And this would be the rhombus. So rhombus, instead of memorization, tons of theorem like you do in your beautiful school. If you know superclass, you automatically apply all this knowledge to subclass. And we have another smart class, a square. A square rectangle. Yes, square is a rectangle where all sides are the same. So all theorem from superclass goes automatically to this one. A square rhombus, yes it is. Square is a rhombus where all angles 90 degrees. All property of rhombus inherited by square plus he has own squares. We can expand this. For instance, here we have neither one, another one, uh, let's say trapezoid. Trapezoid. Which nothing to do with the uh, parallelogram and rhombus, etc. or kite. Another one, kite. This is just fragment of this. You can have different shapes. For instance, class of triangle. You have room here. I erase part of this leper. And this is class of triangle. Everything applicable to these triangles. And also shape, which has three sides. And for class triangle, you have, you can have scaling,
if you classify by base of size of side or equilateral when all sides are the same equilateral or isosceles and all properties you will study some theorems for instance in scaling triangle you know that any size of triangle let's say a is less than total of two sides and greater than difference of two sides by absolute value it automatically applicable to all of them and just give only one example okay or you can make classification by a uh, base of angle okay equal scaling and based on angle in scaling all angles different but you can have also right triangle where all this the same feature we have here plus one angle is right etc and you can classify by obtuse acute etc for instance i give you a few examples how to find area of parallelogram area of parallelogram equals base times height right what about rectangle when all angles the same base and height becomes length and width and you this the same property the same formula it formula goes what about square base and height the same and you have area is let's say side to the second part or rhombus who can give me different formula for square area? Should anybody, area of square. You know only this formula, right? X to the second. Well, look at this. How beauty is this? If this is rhombus, a rhombus. This base what? What I'm doing here. This is rhombus. This is diagonal one. This is diagonal two. Make it nice. And this is base. And this is height. So since rhombus is a parallelogram, formula for area exactly the same. But in rhombus all sides are the same only in rhombus we have property that diagonals rhombus mutually perpendicular that's why for rhombus it has all feature of parent plus another one the same formula base times height plus itself another formula because kid has his own feature child it would be one over two d1 times d2 in many cases in sat especially on digital version right now time is very important but if they give if they give you diagonals instead of doing pythagorean find base find height you just plug in over there Hop. one step few seconds look at this so how important or you have a square since square is a rhombus where all angles 90 degrees you can apply this to formula over there but since in square both diagonals are the same 
D1 and D2. And D1 equals to D2. You have another formula. If you plug in over there, area of square, this one formula, equals one over two, or D to the second. So now, if you have a square, and let's say diagonal equals to 10, how to find area? 10 to the second hundred divided by 250. Oops. So because if you take these books, big books, I name is scoliotic books for kids. If you take all this book, your spine will be bending over there. And they give all property every time for each of this stuff. It's impossible to have hundreds of pictures for nothing, for garbage. If you see this picture, is like a map where you understand everything. Why are you supposed to bother study some feature for the square if you know basic property of parents? And plus for square, you have one more. This one I can memorize. Not memorize, but also understand because this inherited from Romus. I made this uh, object oriented since I'm a professor of computer language and I teach programmers for object, a professional program for object oriented uh, languages, all languages we have now. And a while ago, we had classes AP for programming in Java. Okay. It gives you different vision. Different vision. Now, wherever you study in geometry, if I have time, I make this, this circles another. It's also shape. All right. So instead of memorization, all this stuff, let's say having a circle problem from a real SAT. You have a problem. This is a circle. And we have two horns. And this piece is three. This is seven. This is eight. How to find this piece? So if based on this relationship, you understand all this theorem from superclasses, right, etc. You can solve this problem in one line. So many questions in SAT based on uh, radians and circles. It's also have a system. My point, uh, if I'm talking not about this package, if continuation of these packages, right, all this stuff, solids, sol solid the same. What is it? This is 2D. We have exactly the same approach for 3D. If you know some uh, relation for Euler, who remember Euler theorem about a solid? Euler, we started with smart with uh, style prep. Who can tell you Euler theorem? Okay, without this, it's very difficult to solve problem. In Euler theorem, they provide the relationship between number of any solid, between number of edges, number of vertices, and number of faces. For any solids, it's just one line. If you have two of them, you can easily find the third one, etc., etc. Who understand this so far, this approach, object-oriented approach, is a relationship. Sometimes they give you a logic problem. They give you weird names and said, Vizi, Zi, Mizi, Mizi, Zi, Kizi, blah, blah, blah. And if this is this one, you make this hierarchy, parent-child relationship and see if it goes along of these arrows. So child always a parent. Let's say you, you can't even tell that 
you are a parent. Look weird, but from object parent program, it means you has all features of your parents. That's why you are a parent. Child always a parent. Subclass always a superclass. It means inherit all the features. Plus, you have your own feature. If you start the DNA, you will find this a lot of stuff in common, etc. Okay. And some of you even resemble look like your parents. The same hair, etc. Right. Okay, this is about it. Now, since we understand this relationship, I believe you made this couple work for this one. For triangles. Well, for any triangles, if I'm talking about let's say area, area of triangles, any triangle, scale in base times height divided by two. But when you have equilateral triangle, can I apply this formula? Yes, because equilateral triangle is a and scale in where all sides are the same. But it has his own feature because this is child. Another formula, you can apply this formula again for this one. Or area for all for this child equals s to the second square root of three over four. Can I use this formula for scaling trend? No. But can I use this formula for both? Yes. But keep in mind, in many cases, especially in the SAT, they give you side of equilateral triangle. You have to find area. To find area, you have to find base in hand. You're wasting precious time to find uh, Pythagorean or trick to find height. Why? Why even bother? Put over there. To this S, what is S? Side of this triangle, let's say 10. 10 to second hundred divided by 4, 25. 25 square root of 3, like 1 to 3. And you understand this relationship. Okay. Well, now let's go through these questions. I believe when you have general observation, it would be easy for you. Okay. Probably. Who feel comfortable with uh, solids and uh, oh, look, every time you're raising hands, you just put it down. Alyssa, hands down. Who need help for, for instance, for circles relationship, for arcs, for solids? Because it's also part, especially this test. Uh, so, who feel confident about this stuff? I can check today. I will give some question. I see. But sometimes we have discrepancy between. Let me see. Okay, now let's go through this homework. Since I give you this one, general observation. And this will be what? 14, right? I'm going to go through most three class questions first. After that, if you have any questions, you can ask. Let me find this question. By the way, can you see this uh, whiteboard is much brighter right now today? Who noticed this, right? So my colleague from Switzerland, he invented a new, he worked in optics, and he invented a new uh, web camera. And he sent from Switzerland this new handmade sofa. Before we had the best on the market. But this handmade, I believe the you can see much better from this one. Even different colors we have here. 